Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to discuss second part of the scapula. In this lecture, we will discuss different attachments of the muscles and ligament to the scapula. If you didn't watch previous video, first watch that video so you can easily understand what will happen in this video. Let's start. Here you can see we will start the lecture from the magical triangle. It has three angles and three borders. Here you can see three angle lateral angle, superior angle and inferior angle. And it has three borders, superior borders, lateral border and medial border. We take reference as lateral angle and here always glenoid cavity is present. At the lateral angle. This is the ventral surface and this is the dorsal surface. We first of all discuss what muscles will attach to the ventral surface of the scapula and along with its ligament. Here you can see, uh, keep remember, we consider this is lateral angle, superior angle and inferior angle. This is the superior border, lateral border and medial border. So, uh, we discuss according to these uh, angles and borders. Here you can see, uh, actually the central portion is subscapular region and uh, the muscle which present at that region will be the, here you can see this muscle is the subscapularis muscles. This muscle actually present at the center of the scapula. Here at the medial border, uh, this muscle is called the serratus anterior, anterior muscles. Actually we divide it into three regions. Here you can see uh, somewhat portion will lie in the superior angle and this is actually considered first DG in the medial border, two regions lie second and third digitation and at the inferior angle, fourth to eighth digitations present. Why we call digitation? Because here you can see, this is actually the structure of the ribs. And serratus anterior uh, present uh, medial side of the scapula here. And the other ends will join with different ribs. And uh, upper portion will attach to the first ribs. Medial and the next portion will attach to the uh, second and the third ribs. So we call it digitation. And fourth to eight, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, parts will attach to the uh, fourth to eight ribs of the uh, rib cage. So we call it as four to eight digitation. So we divide the serrated interior into three portion. So here next is the uh, actually this uh, this portion upper portion is acromion and this is the coracoid process and at the tips of the acromion process muscle which is called deltoid muscle present and here you can see uh, this is the cavity at which the clavicle will attach and here you can see uh, this is the coracoid process and uh, at the tips of the coracoid process two muscles will attach first one is the coracobrachialis callus muscle and second is the biceps brachii muscles. Keep remember short short head 
of the biceps rotator will attach to this head coracobrachialis and biceps rotator muscles and next here you can see this blue part this blue part at this one a muscle which is called pectoralis minor will attach at the coracoid process and uh, so this is the uh, muscles actually this cavity is actually the glenoid cavity uh, at the upper portion a muscle will attach biceps brachii so at the upper portion of the glenoid cavity biceps brachii occur but what head of the biceps brachii long head of the biceps brachii will attach long head of biceps brachii brachii attached with the upper part of the glenoid cavity and here the lower will be the attachment of the tricep brachii what part of the tricep brachii upper long head of the tricep brachii will attach at the inferior side of the glenoid cavity and here you can see this portion at the uh, at the side of the supra scapular nerves a muscle which is called omohyoid muscle actually what type of omohyoid uh, omo muscle here you can see hyoid hyoid bone actually two types of muscles present above and below the hyoid bone the upward muscle will be supra hyoid muscle and inferior infra hyoid muscles at the upward at the upside of the hyoid muscle and lower side of the hyoid muscle in the infra hyoid muscle four muscles are uh, present uh, t s o s t stand for thyro hyoid muscle s sterno hyoid muscle o omo hyoid muscle and last one is sterno 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 thyroid muscle so infra hyoid muscle omo hyoid muscle is actually lie in the infra hyoid muscle so this is the infra hyoid muscle up till now we discuss the muscles of the scapula at the ventral surface now we will discuss what ligaments are present in that situation here at the uh, side of the acromion process a ligament which is called coraco acromial ligament coraco ac acromial ligament it's me it's a ligament which will attach to the acro coracoid process and the acromial process so here upper will be the acromion and here this uh, crawl a uh, beak like structure is actually the coracoid process and the, this actually this portion same as the previous this portion is actually a coraco acromial ligament so actually there is a ligament will be which will attach to this this part to this part this ligament is lie in between the acromion process and the coracoid process so we call it coraco acromion ligaments and here which is shown by the green color 
is actually a ligament which is called coracoclavicular ligament. We discussed previous lecture that here you can see this is the clavicle and we divide the clavicle into two medial part and the lateral part. At the lateral side two ridges are present. First one is the trapezoid trapezoid ridge and conoid ridge. So these ridge provide attachment side to the ligament. Actually here you can consider these two ridge and these two ridge attach the ligament. This is the starting point and it will end to the coracoid process. Here this is the two points at which the coracoclavicular ligament will attach. So two sides will be at the clavicle and two sides will be at the coracoid process. So we call it coracoclavicular ligaments. It means the attachment side will be at the coracoid process and will be at the clavicle bones. And here you can see at the side of the glenoid cavity and other ligament which is shown by the blue color. It is actually called the coraco. I write it here, coraco humeral ligament are present, which will attach to the, at the base of the coracoid process and other side will be at the humerus. So this is the ligament. We consider coracoacromial ligaments, coracohumeral ligament and coracoclavicular ligaments. And the last one is the, at the side of the Supra scapular notch and ligaments, which is called this one, which is shown by the red color. This is actually the supra scapular ligament. Ligament. So, this is the supra scapular ligament which is present above the supra scapular notch. So, this is uh, the all about the muscles and the ligaments which will attach at the ventral surface. Now we will discuss uh, what muscles and ligaments attach to the dorsal surface. Here you can see uh, this is the spine. Actually this is the spine portion and uh, out at the end of the spine there is this acromion process and here is the coracoid process. This, this spine region divides the scapula into two parts. This muscle, supra and infra. This is actually the supra spinatus muscle. And here you can see this portion is the infra spinatus spinatus muscles. This is the supra and infraspinatus muscle. At the medial side, here this is actually the medial side of the scapula. At the medial side, muscles, different muscles present, uh, and this is called rhomboid muscle. Rhomboid, this is called rhomboid major. And above the rhomboid minor. So, so you can remember major will be uh, at uh, ma major should be present at the upside but you remember opposite major will be downward and minor will be upward same at the lateral side here you can see this is the teres major and here two uh, uh, segments or lips of the teres minor. Same here. Major will be at the inferior angle and minor will be at upward. And here you can see this portion which is shown by the green color. Here is a muscle will attach to the superior angle just uh, uh, near to the superior angle which is called the Levator scapulae muscles. 
So here at the inferior angle, another muscle which is shown by the blue color is actually the lati latimus dorsi muscle which will attach to the inferior angle. And here you can see this is the scapular notch. We discussed two notch. This is the supra scapular notch and this, this is the spinoglenoid notch. And here you can see this portion at the spine. This is the deltoid muscles. Here you can see deltoid muscle which it starts from the medial part of the spine and at, and at the lateral of the acromion. And this portion will move backward and you can easily show over here acromion process. It means uh, dorsal muscle attachment side will lie, start from this spine of the scapula and, and at the acromion. And some part will show ventral surface. Here you can see, this is shown by the green color, here is actually the muscle which is called the trapezius, trapezius muscle will attach to the upside of the spine. Same, it is start from the spine and end at the acromion process. Here, important point, this ligament is actually called the Supra, supra scapular ligament and the ligament which is present at the spinoglenoid ligament is called the spinoglenoid ligament. So important point. Here you can see different nerves and the blood vessel pass through the spinoglenoid ligament below the spinoglenoid ligament. Here you can see I will show artery and vein, a vein with blue color and artery with red color and nerves with the green color. So these three parts will uh, pass through the spinoglenoid ligament. But keep remember only the nerve will pass below the suprascapular ligament but the vein and artery here you can see vein and artery vein and artery will pass above the suprascapular ligament so this point is very much important only the nerve will pass below the suprascapular ligament Vein and artery will pass above the suprascapular ligament. And here you can see that let's suppose we call this this artery is actually the supra. We call this artery this artery is the supra scapular artery. It will become it will become the hair this one it will become circum flex scapular artery why why do we call it circum flex scapular artery because it curves between the teres minor and it will become the last sub scapular artery so keep remember supra scapular artery become circumflex scapular artery and circumflex scapular artery will become the sub scapular artery so this is uh, important points and you have to remember these points so this is all about the attachment of the muscle to the scapula. If you have any question then you may ask in the comment section.